everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Courtney. Um, haven't filmed in like two months and I'm so, so sorry, but I'm like here with a new tutorial. I'm so excited. I've got loads of new ideas and stuff. This is the look I came up with today. This is the look I, this is literally my go-to look. I do this look pretty much every single time. I don't have time to do the cut crease, the wing liner. And to be honest, I haven't really been feeling that. So this is generally what I tend to go for now. I did the red lip because it's literally December. So let's get a bit Christmassy. Normally I go for a nude, but let's go for a red. If you want to see how I created this look, then please keep watching. So I'm just gonna go in with some moisturizer. This is the uh, Hydrogenius from L'Oreal. And this is um, actually uh, normal to dry skin. Cause although I have like a greasy skin tone, um, please excuse the color of my hands compared to my face. I try not to put fake tan on my face because it brings my spots out a bit more. But anyway, I've been using that because although I have like a greasy T-zone, I can like control that with primer. I'm going to do my brows today because um, I've actually started doing them differently. I can't open this towel. I'm going to do my eyebrows only because I know I don't normally do them in like tutorials, but I've done them differently. I've started doing them differently, more natural. I've started doing them. And what I do is I put them all up like this. I know, gonna look super crazy, but it just gives that more like natural feathery look. And then I take, and this is my, this is my brow gel. And this is the 24 hour brow set from Benefit. This is my favorite brow gel. I've tried so many and I've got like crazy eyebrows that generally just do a thing of their own. This gel is the only one that keeps them in place. So yeah, if you can see that, I'm just putting them all up like this. I just sort of leave them like this. And then I just sort of do my primer as a sort of setting. This is the Pore Professional Benefit Primer, and this is what keeps, you know, my greasy T-zone at bay. Back to the brows, I'm gonna take my Anastasia um, Dip Brow Pomme in the shade Medium Brown, and then I'm just gonna start filling in all the gaps. So I just like flick it out like this. And then do like a line. And I just sort of do this with my brush to bring the hairs down a bit. And then I just sort of fill in, you know, where I want more of an arch. And then with no extra product, I just go through my brow just to like blend everything in. It's longer than what I used to do, but. It just looks more natural, I think. I mean, right now it doesn't. Right now it looks, you know, like I've got a slug on my face, but it will, it'll look fine, I promise. It's just cause my brows are really need doing. And I still carve my brows. Um, well, I have to, cause I always mess them up so bad. And then I'll just put the rest of the concealer. Um, I just used the, this bottle, Prolonged Wear Concealer from MAC. Um, and then I'm just going to put that all over my lid. And then with a beauty blender, I'm just going to blend that all out on my eyelid. I don't know where my under the eye brush has gone, so... Just gonna take like a fluffy brush and put, oh, I'm showing this, this is new. Air spun on. This is just the original form of loose face powder. It smell, it's got a smell to it, but I like it. So I got this in America when I went to Florida and it was only like $5 and it's massive as well. So I've been using that instead of my um, Laura Mercier, you know, just to try it out and I quite like it. So moving on to the eyes, um, I'm gonna take these two palettes. This is the um, Novena Anastasia Bellevue Hill palette. And this is the Violet Voss um, Cream Brulee Fun Size palette. And these two palettes 
together I've just been wearing non-stop I love them so I'm gonna take this color here and just put that in my crease the eye looks so simple as well I'm so excited about Christmas I literally can't wait I've, I've got like so many videos and stuff planned I know I've been really slack on that point I've just been so busy this year this year just wasn't a good time for YouTube but I'm ready I'm back I'm here so I know I said that in my last video and then it's like two months later. I've got like a few videos planned. I kind of just don't want to just do makeup though because I love makeup but I kind of want to do like different types of videos I think. Like more vlogging and not that like my life is exciting or anything but. So in the next colour I'm going to take from my Violet Voss palette and I'm it's gonna take this shade here at the end. It's a weaver brush. I'm just gonna lightly go over that just to sort of warm up a bit. Christmas is just around the corner. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Festive. Everyone's happier at Christmas. It's just the best I think. Taking that same brush I'm gonna take this one here like a cool tone brown and then I'm just gonna kind of keep that in my V like here here and then just with this the weaver brush again just sort of bring it over in all honesty this has been like my go-to look at the minute because it's so easy and to be honest I'm not gonna lie I can't really be bothered doing the cut crease in the wing liner so I've just been doing this. I'm gonna take just my flatty brush, spray it with some, I'm gonna be annoyed, it's got some concealer on. I don't advise that. And then I'm gonna take this pretty color here, here from, I don't know, Weaver palette, Novena, and it's called Dreamer, and it's so pretty. I mean, I go for this look all the time. I mean, minus the red lip. I'm gonna. I think I might do a red lip. No, just because I'm wearing red. But um, normally I go for like a nudie lip. But I'm not that adventurous when it comes to my lips. I tend to go for the same thing. If you follow me on Instagram, you will notice lip color doesn't really change. Um, and then I'm just gonna take that fluffy brush again, and I'm just gonna sort of blend everything in. Going in back in with this palette, I'm just going to take this dark colour, this one here, and then put that in my V point as well, just with that Zoeva brush. Just to darken it up a bit, you know. You know. You. Then I'm going to add some lashes, and I'll be back. Back. So as I like drying on my eyes, I'm going to move on to my face. And just to give my face a bit of natural glow, I'm gonna take my match mac 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 strobe cream and kind of just apply that everywhere. Foundation today, I've been using this Inflammable Pro Glow from L'Oreal. Got this from Florida. Haven't checked if you can get it online yet, but I will be so annoyed if you can't because it's such a good foundation. And also, I've been using a brush, and this is my Real Technique brush to apply my foundation. And this brush is so good. Like, this is like medium to full coverage foundation. I'm going to put it down my neck because my fig tan's gone a bit patchy. So spot right there, though. But it's not ready to pop yet. Looks like a juicy one though. I think I'm gonna have to put concealer over that because I don't think no foundation will cover that monstrosity. So I'm just gonna put some of the MAC Longwear. Oh no, squirted too much out. Let's do that. And then just because I've squirted loads out, I'll just, I'll put it around different areas. And just tap it in with my, oh, that's such a color difference. You can't really tell on the camera. But it looks like I've got a freaking Father Christmas beard. For concealer, I'm going to take that MAC Strobe Longwear again. And this is in a different shade. This is in NC25. 
this brush. Um, this is my Benefit um, Max Coverage Concealer Brush. I just bring this down my face. My um, best friend recommended me this concealer and it's so good. I don't use it all the time though. I tend to only really use it when I go out just because MAC brand isn't really um, an everyday makeup brand, I don't think personally, but that's just my opinion. What's everyone got planned for the Christmas period? I'm so excited. I'm just gonna go over my brows again. Ah. Oh wallet wiped off majority of it just tapping that concealer around with my boot blender same concealer down i'm just gonna put it on my nose as well like so so for cream contour i've actually been using the nyx can't stop won't stop contour um concealer and it's so good so I've just been putting like two dots there like that and then taking my brush from Real Techniques and tapping on it so get it where you sort of want it like that like proper working it in and then I just sort of bring it up Like so, same on my fod in upwards motion. Go over everything with my foundation brush to make sure everything is blended in nicely. I contour my nose, and what I've been doing is I just take like a little bit on my hand, and I just get like a brush, any brush, this brush. And then I just, I'm just gonna like draw it, but not put a load on my nose, just so it looks more natural. Do you like a little line, make it look like a good bit of nose. And then just blend it out. I'm just gonna use this brush here. Right, gonna go for some glue. So I'm just gonna take my iconic London Illumina straps and just put them literally a dot there and then just take my beauty blender again and just blend that in just so there's like something to for my highlight to stick to so yeah just taking that air spawn again and just wiping that in all the places where I put that concealer and then taking my trusty never gonna change super say 24 hour matte long wear matte powder from maybelline and the same brush i don't think this this is ever going to change i absolutely this is my old one just realized i used a light shade and i've just literally freaking put onto my contour but yeah what i'm saying this is never going to change um i mean it changes in color i've literally just put like light a light shade on my like contour bit great just putting that all over my face going into highlighter after i've just set all my face i'm going to go in with the otha highlighter and this is in the shade rodeo drive and i'm literally just going to apply that where i applied that liquid highlighter i'm just going to take like a little brush and just pop that on my nose and then down it and then also in the corner of my eye like this brush again i'm just going to take that orangey shade from this palette and also just blend that in running that under my eyes taking some mascara i'm just gonna apply that i was gonna go into town and get really organized with this video so i was gonna buy makeup and stuff like for this specific video because i hate using the same products because it just gets boring or i'm just gonna take some bronzer and just um go over where I used that cream contour before. Um, 
and I lost my car keys. Well, I didn't lose them. I left my car keys at my appointment. I was getting an acupuncture done. That's basically where you get loads of needles in you. I lost my car keys, couldn't find them anywhere, so I was panicking. Literally, I had to stop in the street before I went to my acupuncture test. I had to stop in the street to tie my shoelace. So then I thought to myself, oh, did I leave them on the floor in the street and not pick them up? So anyway, I was running around like a freaking headless chicken. Went to Marxies to explain that I'd lost my car keys and that my ticket was about, because I was parked in the Marxies car park. They then explained to me that they don't own the car park. This has like turned into a bit of a story time. They explained to me, so then I was trying to ring the person that owns the car park to explain to them that my car might be there because I've lost my car keys. Anyway, I then went back to the place because I was like, I've got no hope, can't find them. And they were freaking in the chair, on the chair. I, f I felt like, I, I thought I looked everywhere in that place where I got my good punch done. And I obviously didn't because they were literally staring right at me. Go in with some blush. I'm going to take my e.l.f. blush. This is the medium to dark palette. And I just literally mix these two shades here. So moving on to lips, we're going to do lips. And I'm going to go for a red lip today. I'm going to take my MAC colour and this is in Woohoo Red. Oh. Got that ruby roo, ruby roo, ruby woo. Got that really wrong. And just gonna apply that to the lips. I never wear red lips, ever. This is from Friendly Beauty and it's just one of those like lip paints they've got. It's in red. It's such a nice red. The only problem with red lips is you've got to be so careful. Like that. Look at that. Oh. So careful and I just go. And then last but not least, I am then going to just spray my face with some of that Max Fix Plus. And that is the end of the tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And... Yeah, I'm off to work now because I'm so late. But um, I will see you next week in the next video. If you want to see that, please subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll try and keep up to date with the videos. I know I've been really slack and I'm so sorry. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.